Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get the energy for Scorpio. Ooh, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Are you coming in as a um coming in as a lion there? Um or a tiger, sorry. Coming in as a tiger. Um, I feel some, if you're dealing with an Aries, okay, let's get into this first of all, because that popped out. So let's give me the energy of all 12 signs around Scorpio, starting with Aries. Somebody's feeling stuck and bound and holding, holding on, very trapped in their head. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're holding on, very trapped in their head about you. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody is single and... I feel like there's an ace of swords or somebody wanting to come back around and speak a truth, a lot of thought, truthful energy, somebody single and abundant speaking a truth. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini needs strength because of something that's toxic, devil energy. So they need strength. Um, they need strength over something that's toxic. I feel like um, if you're dealing with a cancer, so I feel like somebody wants to, um, somebody may be wanting to reconcile and work on a situation. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're manifesting a victory. If you're dealing with a Virgo, um, I feel like ooh, somebody has options or somebody's daydreaming about a new beginning of love. If you're dealing with a uh, Libra, I feel like um, somebody is moving moving on or moving forward uh, because of deception. If you're dealing with another Scorpio, Scorpio feels like there is burdens in a new beginning of love and abundance. There's burdens on their back. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is trying to be patient to move forward. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn is maybe, uh, there may be passionate communication in a relationship. Look at that llama in that little leotard. Isn't that cute? Anyway, um, so Hierophant and the Page of Wands, um, page, yeah, Page of Wands. So passionate communication in a relationship could be an argument, could be a fight. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody has their justice is, Justice is happiness to them. So whatever this is, they could be happy or there's a justice is being illuminated here. Somebody's getting their justice and it's making them happy or they could be getting married. Happiness and justice here. So um, take it out resonates with you with the Aquarius. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's looking at something from a different perspective has to do with a third party. Or could be working and collaborating. Under the bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. So let's get into Scorpio's reading. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Does a family situation, Queen of Wands energy. Coming in, Scorpio, very passionate. Um, I feel like Scorpios are like the Queen of Wands in, in some cases. Very passionate individuals. So... Let's get into this energy and see what's going on for Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio, someone's taking the time to look at something from a different perspective, being very patient, being very patient to make a decision to juggle a wish, to make a decision about what they want. So, something long-term and committed, you're not speaking about it. So Scorpio, you are thinking things through. You're being very patient to see something from, from all angles, looking at things from all angles, it's, it's making a decision, not juggling, but making a decision here. Um, and, and I feel like this has to do with your happiness and your wish, your wish to heal something, or this is just your wish. You know, you see that star up there in the corner, right? Aquarius energy, um, something long-term and committed, but you're not telling anybody. You're kind of keeping it close to the chest, right? You're kind of keeping to yourself. You're, you're keeping to your own counsel. 
asking yourself, figuring it out for yourself. Um, somebody may have some regrets here and they're unhappy because of some regrets with that five of cups, four of cups energy. And they're going to tell you, they're going to communicate it. They're going to communicate. This, this may be because they want to win or they want a victory here. Um, holding on or holding back. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Those. Okay. I feel like you're trying to decide on whether or not you want to be in something long-term and committed. feel like this is still your energy that you may be holding back from becoming a Mrs. Pinnacles. Okay. So you may, you may, <laughs> you may be thinking about it, right? Communication, somebody's trying to win, but there are some regrets and somebody may be holding up or unhappy. Let's get into this and find out what's going on for Scorpio. King of Wands. Ooh. King of Pentacles. Feeling trapped in your head. Scorpio, you had options. You had options. That's what this is about. Two of Cups and somebody wanting to speak the truth. Needing the strength to speak the truth. Under the bottom of the deck, you do have the Emperor. Okay, so one of these fellas... And I say fellas because they're coming in very masculine energies. King of Pentacles, King of King of Wands. King of Wands would be the Emperor in a lower vibration. I feel like the only the only queen on the board is the Queen of Pentacles. Now you may be holding back from being this Queen of Pentacles, marrying this king. So let's see what's going on. Scorpio, do you have somebody who wants to marry you and you're just not sure about it? You're 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 juggling, you're juggling, you are juggling your wish. You <laughs> this became very clear after I put those two kings popped up right there and you being trapped in your head trying to figure out what you need to do. That kind of made it real clear what the obstacle is. Look at this. So taking the time to look at something from a different perspective, being very patient, juggling. You're juggling. You're juggling King of Wands, King of Pentacles. Who's your wish to have in something long-term and committed? You're not saying. You're keeping this to yourself. This is you right here. This is you. High Priestess Energy. Holding on to your own secrets. Using your intuition. Not speaking. Right? You may have some regrets. And you're kind of discontent. I feel like you're discontent because you got to make a choice. You got to decide which one you want to do, what, what you want to do. There is going to be communication and you want a victory. And I feel like what you want to communicate the victory is you want to pick the person who's right for you. And you have a right to do that because this is your life and you, you have a choice to make. Do you want the king of wands? Do you want the king of pentacles? Um, you're communicating you want a victory. You're holding back queen of pentacles. So this person may want... King of Pentacles may want to be, have uh, something with you, solid, stable, dependable, but you're not buying it. That's why your energy is coming in. Oh my God. You know, the cards don't lie. They tell you a reason for a reason. That's why your energy was the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups because of the King of Wands and it being your true person. Wow. Okay. So you have very two very strong soulmate connections here. And you are trying to decide which one is the better one for you. So you're taking the time to look at something from a different perspective. You're juggling, right? Trying to balance and heal. You're, you're juggling to have a new beginning in love. Your wish, your wish is your emperor. Your wish is your emperor. King of Wands. Something long-term and committed to work on something. Um, you're not speaking, you're just watching. 
You're observing everything right now. You're not saying a word. You're just watching. You may have some regrets about a relationship. You're kind of unhappy. And you are you may be holding on or holding back because you're a little unhappy about something. But there is going to be communication from you. Empress energy. There you are. You want this victory. You want this victory. You want equal give and take. You want somebody who's going to give you equal give and take. You've got your person is right. So you're holding back from talking and not saying a word. You're still processing this. You're still holding back and not speaking, right? Queen of Pentacles energy. Because somebody's trying to offer their love to you as the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like with this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, you have to decide. You're trapped in your head big time. You, Your wish out in the cold. Some, there's something that you want to heal and you're out in the cold. You want to heal something with somebody. And, and I feel like to reconcile, to reconcile all of your anxiety. So you need to heal, heal out in the cold. Somebody's out in the cold to heal, right? Um, there was some kind of burdens and somebody feels... Uh, that there was a lot of drama. So the burden of the strife, the jealousy, and the competition. Okay, so Scorpio, are you feeling a some, some, some kind of way because you feel that you caused the burden with all the drama? The strife, jealousy, and competition because there's two of them that they're, you're picking from that they may know about one another, and but you want to heal. I feel like you want to heal. You don't want to be on bad terms with anybody is what I'm feeling because you want to speak the truth to the two of cups um, and you need the strength to do that, right? Because there was deception here and it caused a tower moment about somebody from the past. Um, somebody here was obsessed Um I feel like, okay, so this is something toxic. There was something toxic, some, something that was obsessive, possessive, whatever it was. Someone's guarded and defensive about whatever this devil is, okay, um, from the past. So somebody, there was deceptions causing a tower moment with somebody from the past. And whatever this was, whatever this devil was, somebody's guarded and defensive. So if you're telling somebody the truth about a situation and they find out that there was another person involved, they are guarded and defensive because they, they, you, they're they looking at you like you were the devil. Okay? That's what I'm feeling like right here. Um, two of Cups. Looking back at the past mistakes. Wanting to speak a, a, a harsh truth. Somebody trying to win at all costs playing mind games trying to get a victory. So you may have somebody who that devil might not be you. It might be somebody else. Um, it may be the other person. So the deception bringing down the tower about somebody from the past. And somebody is obsessive. Um, th there could have been something toxic or obsessive, possessive, whatever that is, that someone's very guarded and defensive about. Okay. So whatever this was, you're very guarded and defensive about it. And I feel like that's your energy, Scorpio. Um, you do have a two of cups here. And you're looking back at your past mistakes and you want to speak the truth. You do. But I feel like there's something that's, that's coming out that's um, somebody trying to win at all costs, playing mind games to get a victory. That's a narcissist. Okay. So whatever this is, if this is your energy or if this is somebody else's energy, let me get one more card on that. Okay. Look, Scorpio, this may be your energy that you're going to win at all costs, but I don't feel like you're playing mind games. This is just about you winning, speaking a truth. I feel like for here that you manifested a choice and that you had to make a head over heart decision to cut something out and end it. So I feel like, Scorpio, you love both these people, but one stands out higher than the other. One is a karmic and one is your is your true your true match. And you are making the right choice to cut something out because you're coming towards a two of cups. And the two of cups would be your your person. 
right? But you're making a decision to cut something out. Healing, peace, and beauty. A choice. You had a choice. You had a choice. Beauty. I feel like, I don't know what this is, how you're seen or how you feel, or um, you see the beauty in something. You see the beauty in the choice. Um, but I feel like you want peace. You want peace and you definitely want to heal something. And I feel like it's with the emperor, right? And intentions are under the bottom of the deck, intentions. So this is your intention to heal um, that choice. You're making the choice. You're making the choice you're meant to take. Wisdom, gr gratitude, purity, and success. I feel like that that's just an awakening. That's an understanding. That's coming clear. You know, you, you're grateful. You will have success in this w with wisdom. So you, you are feeling pulled in the right direction. I feel like for you, Scorpio, you're being pulled in the right direction. That's, that's what I'm feeling, you know, to make a choice that you need to make, right? You came closer than anyone. I left when I saw you with somebody and I remember every detail of that day. So this may be the emperor telling you, I left when I saw you with that other person and I remember the details of that day, but you came closer than anybody ever did. So Scorpio, this is your person and you made the right choice. So that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.